Hello and welcome to my shop. This is Jim Dedman, Solox Plastic Hubs. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, we'll be doing something interesting. So uh, hang around, let's have fun. Good morning, this is Jim. We're starting on the bandsaw project. Uh, the auction find that you see, you will, you know, you've already seen hopefully by now. Uh, what we're doing is I purchased a 12 inch Craftsman metal cutting, uh, excuse me, wood cutting bandsaw at an auction for the princely sum of $50. So we're going to go through the process of building it. we got to build a stand because if you've seen the earlier videos and it'll be in there, it's on a wooden stand so we need to, it wasn't on the original stand. Build the jack shaft system and get it converted and we're going to have it on casters similar to our other saw so I can roll it into an unused place in the shop and if I need it I can bring it in and out. So the steps are going to be kind of convoluted. There will be a lot of different parts. I don't know if I'm going to name it part this, that or the other or just spell out each particular part of the section. So with no further ado, let's get to working on this dang thing. Okay, what you see in there in the floor is two pieces of bed rail. This particular one, you notice one of them's a little bent, which won't hurt nothing. Bed rail is made out of really, really tough steel. Also, you can sometimes pick it up basically free. And free is for me. But now there's got to be a little work to it. So what we're going to do today is start the prep work on the bandsaw project. So hang around. I'm going to say no, I'm not trying to be one of the cool kids in school. But uh, let me kind of bring the camera back down. Now I said earlier, you notice I said bed rails. So what we're going to do here is we need we're going to build this thing approximately two by two by two so we need basically four two foot pieces of frame just to make the top and four more to make the bottom so we need to get as maximum amount of out of these bed rails as we can so what i'm going to do is take side grinder right here and grind these rivets off so i can get use the whole piece of material again I have more time than I have money. These, this set of bed rails more or less is free. Okay, like I say, railroad arms, punch, and knock these rivets right out. Now I've got a, the holes is not going to matter. So basically I'll just flip it over and grind the other end off and we'll do the same thing. So like I say, more time than money. And what you see sitting there in my workbench is what the top and the bottom of this. I'm going to make basically two boxes and put four legs to make the basic stand. So the material that I have for this project is what you see right here. So I'm limited. So I've run out of material more or less. I've got to decide what I'm going to use to make the four uprights. So, and then I'll need some plate. But see, I wanted to see how much I could get out of the rails. So basically what I'm going to do is make a box two, two by two boxes. So that's the kind of the plan anyway. Alright, the weight. I like to build a box and I'm not a professional fabricator or welder but I don't like doing cutting stuff on the 45. What I prefer to do is cut this lip out of this angle here then I will build my box by basically having this whole area corner to be welded in. You know, you, so you got a lot more area to weld and easier to get to when you're welding it. So for me, it works better. And if, most every box I build, I build them this way. One more thing I forgot with a bed rail, it's not a true piece of angle iron. So you also got to plan when you're doing a bed rail what you want for the side and what you want for the top. I'm wanting the wide piece to be the top when this is finished. One of the re 
reasons you a lot of prof I'm gonna use professionals and serious amateurs rather go buy steel that don't want to have to go through what I just went through. I notched all this up, squared it, cut it, everything up, and then I've had to grind the paint and whatever else is around the edges. So when I get ready to weld or start to tack this up in a few minutes, it'll be there for me. So what I'm gonna do is weld weld the two corner sections together individually and then come back and you know just do the best I can this is where we've gotten today I haven't drawn all the details completely out today but basically this is how these parts go together they're notched and they're welded like this here this is how they're welded and this is how they're notched so that's what this so the, these two half welded ones, we've run out of welding wire. So this one here, and these, this will be the top and the bottom. And then we're just going to put four legs. It's going to, we're going to make it like a table, more or less, is the plan. So this is, I don't know which one's going to be the top, which one's going to be the bottom, but that's one of them. This is the other one. I did take it, go ahead and, and grind it up a little bit because needing... You know, just trying to get somewhere. So that's these two sets of bed frames. That's going to be my top and my bottom. I'll have to get some material. It's, I got to buy some. I'm kind of ain't got enough to do anything else with. So that's where we at. Uh, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to cut the mic off and uh, cut this. And I know my channel name isn't the same as Richard's. Uh, you, if you probably follow me, you probably follow Richard down in Florida who, who is making something from nothing. Uh, my stand, I was about to say I was going to have to buy some material. And I'll show you my bottoms here in a few minutes. They're welded up. Or I may have already showed you one, but I finished the other this morning. Went and got some gas or whatnot. Here's what we got. Uh, I had a swing, uh, swing stand out in the backyard. It's pretty heavy wall tubing. Uh, I'll get you a piece of slant here on the floor. I've already cut one end off. If you'll notice, it's fairly heavy wall. And if it'll hold a person or two, it'll hold a handsaw. Probably might need some bracing. But basically, that's going to create my legs right there. Rectangular tubing. So I'm going to feel like I'm, I feel like my legs need to be about 30 inches. I've already sawed the other end. And I'm going to cut the mic off so you won't have to listen at it. And we're going to saw this piece. All right, I'm going to let boy you to finish. It'll take just a minute, but the only bad thing about this material, it is powder coated, so I am going to have to grind around on it a little bit and knock powder coat off the weld. But, you know, again, it'll make really good strong legs. It'll be as strong as one inch tubing. So there we go. Okay, this is the basically the bottom, the two bottom pieces, or the bottom and the top pieces. Now, the way this is going to be oriented is the way you see them up against the toolbox is going to be the one's going to be the top, one's going to be the bottom. The wheels, the caster wheels, will bolt on one of the two rails 
haven't decided which one yet. It kind of will play, pan when I get ready to drill them. The other one will be welded to the top. Up here is the legs you see me cut out of the swing. So that's going to give us a four legs. This is going to be about 30 inches tall. And I may, again, that with that being there, I'll be able to hook the, the assemblies and the, the belt tightening assemblies could all could be drilled to that because that's probably a lot softer than the bed rail. So that'll give us, and if we need any extra bracing once we start going up, too, we can always put pieces in depending on how the saw lays out, too. I've got more material, so we can cross brace or whatever's needed. Hopefully, between the plates on the top of the saw and all, it won't need as much, but you know, this, this is being designed on the fly, and we will see. The one thing else I'm going to pan back down is I'm going to take a, a quick rest with this and it'll probably be starting in another video before I finish even assembling this. The main thing is I got to drill the holes and put the casters on which I don't have and uh, also I'm waiting on the pulleys because that's going to dictate a lot of how this is going to be put together. So what we're going to do is because bed rails are very difficult I'm not going to hand drill them. They'll either be drilled in drill press or the mill, and uh, I need to have the casters here, and we'll get them bolted and drilled and whatever else we need to do. We'll probably do all that and then then start putting the uh, uh, other. I may even put studs down and do it. Right now, I'm still undecided until I get to that. So, with no more further ado, here's where we're at so far in the fab job. I hope you enjoyed the video. So uh, let's put a disclaimer out of the way. This video is my idea how to do things. It's not uh, uh, the only way. So I hope you enjoyed it today. The other thing, comments are always welcome. Please take the time if you feel so inclined to make a comment on my videos. Also, I appreciate all my subscribers, the new ones and the new ones. And finally, the other disclaimer. This is a copyrighted production of James Dedman, Saw Logs Plastic Hubs, for your enjoyment on YouTube. Thank you, have a great day, and we will see you in the next video.